I was recently asked, and I'm doing my blogs while I'm driving. I'm on my way to some meetings, and this is about the only time I can uh, do my blogs today, so I, I apologize. I, I'm going to be looking around because I'm watching traffic, trying not to get hit while I'm answering the question. Somebody uh, recently emailed me in Rod's blog, and they said um, that they read a Bible study, and a pastor told them that anybody could pray for the sick um, as long as they were a believer or a Christian. And so the question came to me, well, if I pray for the sick, then if I anoint with oil, then should I anoint on the forehead, pour it on their head, what should I do? Um, all right, it's a... <laughs> you ever notice how we're always preoccupied with the, with the, the, um, the procedures rather than the principles? Uh, you see, we're all... That's a classic mistake of human beings. They're so preoccupied in the procedures, they forget the principles. Look, the principle of healing comes from Mark 16. Jesus Christ said that the signs of believers who follow him, one of the signs would be they will lay their hands on the sick and they will get well. Notice there's no mention of oil there. But in James chapter 5, uh, the Bible says that James said, Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church, anointing them with oil. Now that scripture means that there should be a practical application of healing from the church, but also there's a symbol. Anytime you see the oil in the Old Testament, it's a symbol of God's healing power through His Spirit. Uh, in Psalm 23, you anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over, and so on and so on. And you see the anointing, of course, running down Aaron's beard and so on. And the anointing, the Holy Spirit anointing means different things. But in this case, specifically in James, it is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. The procedure is not important. What is important is what James says. He says, and the prayer of faith will save the sick. It is not about the person doing the anointing. It is about, first and foremost, Jesus Christ releasing healing, and secondly, the faith of the person who's being prayed for. So we get preoccupied in the procedures as if we have some super spiritual ability and that's what does the healing. No. Folks, I have news for you. Uh, Benny Hinn is not the one doing the healing. Jesus is. You get your mind on Benny Hinn, you're, you're, you're breaking the second commandment. You're worshiping idols. You're distracted from Jesus Christ. Stop it. You need to focus on Jesus Christ. He is the author and finisher of your faith. Jesus will heal you. And so, don't get wrapped up in the procedures as much as getting wrapped up in following the instructions of the principle, which is bring the name of Jesus into it, encourage the person's faith, and then let Jesus do the work. I've prayed for many people who've been healed. I've prayed for a lot of people who haven't been healed. It's not about me. It's about Jesus and their faith. When the woman came and she touched the hem of Jesus' garment, uh, he said to her, your faith has made you whole. Uh, very interesting stuff. You remember when the woman from the region of Tyre came and said, my daughter's got a demon healer, and he said, uh, he went through the whole procedure there, and then he said, your faith has been is great. Your faith is amazing. And so it's interesting and important for us to remember that when we pray for healing, it's about Jesus Christ first. And secondly, it is about the faith of the person who believes in Jesus Christ. And I've got to make a left-hand turn here.